Okay. Hey, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Mission Impact Series. Um, this series is going to be called Slaying Social Issues with Social Impact Businesses. So as you know, we do always do it in four parts. So this will be done every week over a four week period. So every week there will be a different segment to this. All right. So this first segment is going to be called the power of social impact businesses. And there is power in social impact businesses. So we're going to explore what social um, entrepreneurship is and how it is used to create meaningful social change. This includes discussing some of the most innovative social entrepreneur initiatives, examining <clears throat> the impact of social entrepreneurship as a whole on various um, communities, and exploring the potential for social entrepreneurship to tackle complex social problems. And we see this all the time in our community, but I don't think that we are identifying it because we don't know what to call it, right? We're not identifying it correctly as social entrepreneurship. So if this is your first time catching us, my name is Tracy V. Allen. I'm the owner of Impact Impactors Management Group. I help social impact businesses to design, build, and fund their social ventures so that they can live the lifestyles that they desire while <laughs> it's real life over here, guys, <laughs> while impacting their communities. All right. I'm Ty Boone. I'm owner of Ty Boone Enterprises. I work mainly with nonprofit organizations, helping them to move from startup and struggle to sustainability and success. I love this topic, Tracy. Um, uh -huh. You can change the world, right? You can. Yes, you definitely can. The world. And this is what this whole thing is all about you know whether you're you know non-profit or for-profit with the social cause you can check y'all know the world that we live in right in these changes mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so it's very it's just it's, I, I like the fact that you know i, I call this hard work h-e-a-r-t um hard work and, and it can be hard work as well but with the right motives you can change the world with the right systems in place, we can change the world. And I think that, you know, what we're doing here, as far as being able to talk about how you can change the world and what, getting your stuff in order so you can change the world legitimately, <laughs> um, you know, it works. It, it, it really works. I mean, there's mm -hmm. tons of, of, you know, examples of how this really, really works. Um, mm -hmm. we, we mentioned a couple of a series ago of, uh, Tom, the Tom shoes, right? Yeah. Where for every pair of shoes you you buy, someone who needs shoes gets a pair of shoes, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. There are people who do not have shoes, and sometimes yeah. we're, we're a lot of us are removed from a lot of things and a lot of issues that go on in the world, but there are organizations that exist, businesses that exist that haven't forgotten about those issues. <laughs> right? um, and, and and being able not everybody this is not for everybody you know like i said this is hard work S E A R T, and it's hard sometimes um mm -hmm. depending on what you're doing but when you do it with the right motive i think that that this is a very important thing to do you want to you want to you know be a change agent change agents tb y'all see that right <laughs> that's what this is all about yeah it's definitely about changing the world and sometimes a lot of people don't set out to be social entrepreneurs um and most people don't even know that the words go together in most cases like you know a lot of people are getting to really it's becoming a buzzword but for the most part people are just setting out to do good they see a problem either they've been in the problem or they see a problem that they want to solve in their community and they just go out and do the work they're not putting labels on it they're just like i'm helping the community i'm trying to make it better whatever but those things those situations can spawn into social entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. especially when you have a business associated with helping to make that cost better, like a Tom's, like a Greystone, like a Waverly, like so many other organizations, right? Even Whole Foods. And mm -hmm. there are tons and tons of organizations that do social entrepreneurship work, or mm -hmm. they act as social enterprises, mm -hmm. or they act as nonprofits. All of these people are considered social entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. okay? like, you know, my, that is oh. a one broad blanket term. They're yep. all social entrepreneurs in their own rights, right? You know, 
you know, my eight year old is out here and he says, he says, that's oh, right. Alex. You know, why, why did you want to do this thing? And he says, well, my mom, she worked with people who do good. <laughs> right. Uh-huh. And so I, I asked her, could I also do good? And that's, that's basically what this is. You know, uh-huh. you're doing good for other people with your right. business or with your initiative or with your nonprofit or whatever. Um, and, and we need to, I think the more of that we see, we can catch on. And I, I always, you know, talk about Coca-Cola when Coca-Cola a, a long time ago, they used to have this commercial and they're like, I like to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. You Do you remember that? Yeah. And, and, and then they started the foundation and give, you know, give back to the community, you know, that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. And that's what it's all about. You, of course, there probably will never be perfect harmony, but we right. can work toward it. <laughs> we can, we can work toward it. Yeah. But this, whatever it is that you set your goals for or your mind to as a social entrepreneur, you have to make sure that you're doing everything humanly possible to achieve those goals. Um, I don't always want to bring up the negative, but there are a lot of times when we see people put on the mask of social entrepreneurship and it's very, very self-centered. Right. So it's about what they can get out of it, whether it's fame, notoriety or financial gain from Mm -hmm. it. If you are going to say that you are helping the community, you need to make sure that you have a plan in place to execute and help the community because you can do more harm to people individually and a community as a whole if you put on the mask of social entrepreneurship and you don't actually implement um, and execute on the programs and services um, in the way that you tell the community that you want to um, help. And what it does too, it puts a stain on a social entrepreneurship and the social impact business um, industry as a whole as well. So there builds up a lot of mistrust um, Mm -hmm. around people actually supporting, and we don't want that to happen, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're going to be um, a social entrepreneur, be a social entrepreneur, put the, um, the effort behind it. You can literally change someone's life, save someone's life as a social entrepreneur. You can save communities, you know, um, especially uh, right now, social justice is a really big thing. There's a lot of injustices that are happening within our communities. And those people, I admire them to get up there fearlessly and advocate for someone else that you probably don't even know in most cases, but you're so passionate about justice being served on something or, you know, um, writing some injustice that you go to bat 100% for that person or that, that group of people that is admirable. Like I tell people, if you just do good, even if your ultimate goal is notoriety, right? Or some type of fame or even financial gain, Okay, let's say that is your ultimate goal. If you put doing good first, it will come naturally. You won't have to look for it. You won't have to chase it. You won't have to do any of that. It will speak you out (laughs) if you just do good first. That's amen, sister. Right there, right? If you do good first, put it before. Put that first and everything mm-hmm. else will just kind of fall in place. I mm-hmm. love, I love that. And you, you know, you mentioned, you know, people have trust issues because there's so many folk who are who are pretending or who especially when you're talking about this new social enterprise movement, right? People are just like, oh, I can't get my, I can't get my for profit to work. So maybe I'll mm-hmm. just say social enterprise and people can donate to me and do whatever. Mm-hmm. And they're trying to get their best lives off of these. They're not doing, they're not giving back. Right. That's what they're supposed to be doing. But they're not doing good. They're all about themselves. And that's mm-hmm. not that's not social impact. You're, 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 you by yourself, you and your family, and those people in your house, that's not social impact. That's just you taking care of business at home. Right. Right. Social impact is supposed to spread abroad. This is mm-hmm. this is what impact is for. It has to reach people outside of your home. You're tr- you're you're trying to become a change agent you're trying to make a difference and that's that's what an impact is and if you're not making a difference in lives that are outside of yours 
-hmm. you're not on the right page as far as social impact is concerned. No, you're not. And that's a great segue into our next segment, which is going to be how to start a social impact business. So I think that's basically all we have to say on this subject. Um, of course, if we were doing a webinar, we could talk about this for hours and hours and hours, but we're not. <laughs> we're just giving you some quick <laughs> tips, some quick strategies, something to think about, right? So these are top thought provoking um, segments. So if you come back, we're going to next week, we're going to be talking about starting a social impact business. So we'll give you some tips and strategies there for that. Until next time, guys. Bye. Make sure to put your comments below if you have any comments. Mm-hmm. <laughs>